Now to a GMA exclusive, a 12-year-old boy's amazing survival story, dragged underwater by a deadly riptide, then a rescue. He's recovering now, and ABC's Neil Karlinski sat down with Dale and his family. Hand him to your dad. Good job. For 12-year-old Dale Ostrander's family, what you're seeing is nothing short of a All miracle. Right. Yay! Good job. Because Dale, running through yet another grueling day of therapy, was dead on a beach less than a month earlier. No pulse, not breathing, nothing. Today, he's walking, dressing himself, and learning to talk all over again. Okay, Dale, ready? We're gonna count together. One. Try to say. One, two, good. Very good. You can't get your mind around it being dead for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, coming back. How do you, how do you get your mind around that? It's just something that you can't. You feel like this is a miracle. Definitely. Absolutely. It was such an ordinary day that afternoon last month when Dale went to the beach with his church group. His mother still remembers sending him off. He always, she shows, shows me a heart right before we go somewhere. So I dropped him off and he did the heart and I showed it back to him. But the currents were strong that day, and as Dale waded in just a little, a powerful riptide tugged his feet out from under him. Dale was yelling, help, 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 someone help me. Twelve-year-old Nicole Kissel was on her boogie board, fighting the waves when she ignored her own father's pleas to come ashore and went after Dale. And when I got to him, I put him on the board. I grabbed the board, and uh, several waves hit us, and he had actually told me that we can make it. Come on, let's go now. Another wave toppled them both, and she lost him. While Dale's friends prayed on the beach, rescue teams hit the powerful surf. He was uh, fully clothed, wearing uh, dark clothes. The ocean was dark. There was a tremendous amount of kelp. There was a lot of false hope when we were seeing dark spots in the water. I got really close, and I told my rescue swimmer, he's right here, so jump right here. Doug Knutson and Eddie Mendez are the men in that incredible photo. They found him, but there was no rejoicing. He, he felt limp, he's a small boy. I mean, there was enough going on that we were, we were fairly certain that we had had a fatality. Still, they never gave up hope. Okay, two breasts, chest compressions, 100 times a minute, do 30 of them, give another two breasts. Was it that cold 56 degree water, the CPR, or something else? Dale came back. Everybody was rooting for him, and Dale, was he was the one doing the fight. Today, he doesn't speak much yet, but don't let that fool you. Okay, can you spell here? H E A R. High five. Excellent. Well Good job. job. Do you think he understands everything that we're saying? He understands everything. He hears everything. He gets frustrated because he can't communicate what he does here and understand. It's frustrating. It's there. I mean, he's got memory. He remembers mm -hmm. his dog, Peanut. He remembers his sisters. He remembers the movies that he's watched. Doctors say his progress is remarkable. They look at this as a miracle. He has definitely surprised a lot of people. He's making, you know, significant progress. You know, where he'll go from here, we, we don't know. He's begun to write a little. I'm not hungry here in his notebook. And he knows what he wants. You want to get out of this hospital and go home? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> his parents say they see signs of his old self coming back every day. Perhaps none more powerful than the very heart symbol he made his mom before heading to the beach. My guy. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, bud. Wherever he goes from here, Dale's parents say their prayers have already been answered. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Puyallup, Washington. Remember when we first shared that story and to mm -hmm. see where Dale is now. And to find out more about Dale and his recovery, you can go to abcnews.com slash GMA.